Today we're gonna make banana bread. It's a very very delicious bread, very filling. You can have it for your breakfast, brunches or you can simply have it for the beverage of your choice, tea or coffee. So let's have a note at the ingredients first. We need 8 ounces that is 250 grams of plain flour that is maida, 150 grams or 6 ounces of granulated sugar, 100 grams or 4 ounces of unsalted butter, 2 bananas which are nicely ripe should be mashed, some almonds crushed into small pieces, some chocolate chips for garnishing, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence or vanilla extract and 1 fourth teaspoon of baking soda and 2 eggs. That's it with the ingredients. Firstly, preheat your oven at 170 degrees Celsius and take a loaf pan, grease it well with oil. Why we take a bread loaf pan? Because it gives the shape of the bread and you can cut into slices. But if you don't have a loaf pan, don't worry, use your baking tin and follow the same procedure. So grease your pan and keep it aside and then take a mixing bowl. Take the butter and put it to the mixing bowl followed by sugar and mix everything nicely. We are going to cream the butter and sugar nicely until we have a pale color of the butter and make sure your butter is at room temperature and, and it's not just out from the refrigerator. You need to keep it outside the refrigerator for about an hour before you start the procedure. At this point, I'm going to leave the spatula and take on my whisk and going to whisk them nicely together. It should take just about 2-3 to three minutes to cream it nicely. The best part about this recipe is that you don't need a hand mixer or any gadget. Simple manual whisk can help you make such a delicious bread at home. Once you see the texture of a bread crumbs like this, that is the time when we are going to add in the eggs. Why we are using little less butter? Because we are going to add two big bananas which are mashed nicely and that will give the fat content to our bread. So this much butter is more than sufficient. At this point I am going to put in one egg at a time and whisk it together with butter and sugar. Second egg at this time. and whisk everything nicely together. After whisking the eggs nicely, I'm going to add vanilla extract, teaspoon of that and mix it nicely. This gives a nice flavor. The basic principle for good baking is that all your ingredients should be at room temperature, whether it's banana, whether it's butter or eggs, all of them should be at the room temperature and my wedge lovers should not get disheartened. Instead of egg, you can add 3 4 a cup of milk for giving that fatness because we are adding bananas so that should be okay. Instead of eggs, go ahead and add 3 4 cup of milk. Now our eggs are also properly beaten. I am going to add very nicely mashed bananas. I have taken two ripe bananas to which I have nicely mashed it with the help of a potato masher and now I am going to Mix it nicely with the egg butter mix. Don't whisk too much after adding the banana pulp. Just keep it aside. Take your dry ingredients. This is plain flour to which I am adding 1 fourth a teaspoon of baking soda, 1 teaspoon of baking powder. Mix it nicely. Make sure you have already sieved your plain flour. Now I'm going to add the dry ingredients to the mix. I'm going to use my sieve and going to add the dry ingredients in batches, not everything together and going to fold the dry ingredients nicely with the wet ones. Take a hold of a spatula and fold in the whole flour mix. After adding the plain flour and baking soda and baking powder mix in two batches, this is how my batter looks. I have just kept this much plain flour mix to which I am going to add almonds and chocolate chips and mix them nicely with the flour. Why we are doing this? Because we don't want them to sink down the bottom. We want them to be nicely circulated all over the bread. So this is the technique 
just mix them nicely with the plain flour and then enter it to the batter fold it nicely and your batter is ready to go inside the oven the batter is ready the consistency should be dropping consistency like this not too thick not too thin if you feel your batter has become too sticky and thick you can add in one tablespoon to two tablespoons of milk to it and make sure the consistency is like this now we are going to pour it to the greased tin just shake it like this so that the batter is smoothened and it's equally distributed all through the baking tin if you need you can use your spatula also but this is the best way to make it leveled garnish it with the rest of the almonds and some chocolate chips I'm going to bake this at 170 degrees Celsius for 50 to 60 minutes yes because it's a bread it has lots of plain flour it requires time to properly cook so we're going to check after 55 minutes. after 55 minutes I just brought my banana bread out of the oven the fragrance is amazing and it looks delicious how are you gonna check that your banana bread is completely cooked inside out take a toothpick insert at the center if the toothpick comes out clear or with very little scums on it that means your banana bread is just done just bring it out just look at it how amazing and perfect it looks it's it has left the sides the corners that means it's completely done just scratch the sides with the help of a knife and keep a plate or a platter on the top of it and just turn it upside down and slowly remove the loaf pan Ta-da! your banana bread is perfectly ready wow look at this awesome banana bread is ready this is one breakfast which is loved by the entire family have it with milk tea or coffee the choice is yours have it just like it or you can just toast it with butter that too tastes delicious just spend 15 to 20 minutes once a week and you are rest assured for breakfast for the entire week. Do try this and let me know how it turned out for you. Till then this is Pooja signing off. You don't forget to subscribe us at Cook with Pooja YouTube channel and like us on Facebook.com. Bye bye.